In this video, let's see another important numerical problem based on the concept of properties of determinants. Now we already know what are the various properties of determinants and we have seen few problems on the same. This video is another problem on the same subtopic of the chapter of determinants which is called as properties of determinants. Now let's see what the problem is. It says show that a plus b plus c is a factor of this determinant. And if you observe this determinant closely, in the first row you have a, b, c. In the second row also you have a, b, c although the order is not same and in the third row also you have a, b, c. That means these can be added up and we have something called as a plus b plus c that we can get. That is what I am going to do. What I mean to say is let's add up the columns together in the proof of this question. So the proof says that I am going to add these columns together. So let in C1 we have C1 plus C2 plus C3. Why I am doing this? I am doing this to make things simpler for calculation. What happens is the determinant becomes A plus B plus C. The first column becomes A plus B plus C. Second column also A plus B plus C. Third column also A plus B plus C. And then we have B and C, A and B, A and C. This is done. Now when you see that you get A plus B plus C, it becomes easier to take things common. So let's take things common out. A plus B plus C is common and out. Inside what is left is from everywhere 1, 1, 1 is left. So I write 1, 1, 1. Rest copy as it is B, C, A, B, A, C. So it is B, C, A, B and A, C. No changes there. Now when you see that this determinant is there, the determinant can be evaluated easily when there are more number of zeros. So in order to make zeros, let's apply the operation R2, R2 minus R1. And in R3 also, if we apply R3 minus R1, things become simpler. That means 1 minus 1 will come 0. So A plus B plus C as it is, determinant changes, row 1 has no operation, right? So copy row 1 as it is. Row 2 has row 2 minus 1, so it is 0. A minus B, B minus C. Third row, row 3 again, 1 minus 1 is 0. Then R3 minus R1, so A minus B, C minus C. Let's see whether we've copied things carefully. We'll again check it. So it is A minus B and C minus C is 0. Let's again check what we have done. We were basically adding up things. So we did A plus B plus C. We copied B, C, A, B and A, C as it is. Then what happened? A plus B plus C was taken out as common. Again, we copied B, C, A, B, A, C, B, C, A, B, A, C. Then we had subtraction. Subtraction in a manner as A minus B, B minus C. So A minus B, B minus C. Last but not the least, it is R3 minus R1. R3 minus R1 means 1 minus 1 which is 0. A minus B and C minus C. Now, when this happens, what we see that, we see that we have many zeros now. And we can easily evaluate things. So if outside you see that first column has maximum number of zeros, it's better to evaluate from there. So I say that A plus B plus C is there, okay. And now let's evaluate along the first column. If you evaluate among the first column, first row, first column has to be ignored. Inside you have A minus B, B minus C, A minus B and 0. That is what you see, right? This sub-determinant is left. Now how to evaluate this? Just cross multiply. You can even take out A minus B as common if you want, right? So it is what? It is A plus B plus C. Inside you have a minus b into 0 which is 0 and a minus b into b minus c. So minus comes out as common because you are going from bottom to up. It is a minus b into b minus c that you get. Now let's read the question again. The question said that show that a plus b plus c is a factor of this determinant. And you find in the end that yes you have many things here, three product elements multiplied but you also have a plus b plus c and so we prove that yes a plus b plus c is a factor of this given determinant wherein the determinant had a b c as its elements.